Good morning, students. Yesterday we started our new topic that is coal and petroleum. Okay, so we have discussed about the resources, what is the resources, and the types of resources that is the natural and uh, human made uh, resources. Okay, and then the next point we have discussed that is the exhaustible and inexhaustible natural resources. See, as you know, that our topic is coal and petroleum okay so in this topic we have to go in a detailed study about the exhaustible natural resources why because this coal and petroleum are the example of exhaustible natural resources so what is the exa exhaustible natural resources so those are present in a limited quantity okay so that resources are known as a exhaustible natural resources okay so first point Point we will see that is the fuels formed by the natural processes like the decomposition of dead plants and animals they are called as a fossil fuels now see here means this coal petroleum natural gas these are the examples of what exhaustible natural resources okay so these all togetherly are known as a fossil fuels okay so this coal petroleum and natural gas are togetherly known as a fossil fuels so what is the exactly definition and how these fossil fuels form okay means how this naturally occurs see here the definition means proper how we will define the fossil fuels okay see the fuels formed by the natural processes it is a natural exhaustible resources means it is formed by the natural process like the decomposition of dead plants and animals now decomposition process okay so decomposition of dead plants and animals so it take a million years okay to form a any fossil fuels now see they are called as a fossil fuels okay means whatever the product whatever the examples means for example coal and petroleum natural gas these are known as a fossil fuels okay and they form by the decomposition of dead plants and animals okay so in this lesson the particular example how it form means if it is a coal then how it form okay the types of coals then petroleum and natural gas these one by one we are going to study in this chapter okay so now first we will see what are the importance of fossil fuels why it is important in our life why this fossil fuels important the first point it is the sources of energy I means see these the fossil fuels give a lot of energy now you know that in the vehicles okay we are using the fuel means petrol we are using so what it is converted into energy means it gives a lot of energy okay it produces heat so it is the very important for that so every means see all the vehicles nowadays the transportation you all are know how much it is important so these the things regularly we are using the second it is the domestic purpose now domestic purpose means what see in our house also we are using you know a cylinder okay in cylinder what is present lpg lpg gas means what it is also the fossil fuels only okay so for the domestic purpose then what a uh, natural gas these are these also we are using okay so for domestic purpose also we are using the fossil fuels so the first important that is the sources of energy it gives a lot of heat energy and the second one is the domestic purpose third one is the thermal power means what with the help of this the fossil fuels it help to produce a electricity okay so these fossil fuels help to produce electricity so because of these points this fossil fuels are very important in our regular life and see it is a exhaustible e these all are a exhaustible natural resources means what they are in a limited quantity why because it take a millions of years to form 
even though they are the natural resources naturally they occurs but it takes a millions of years and if you will see the day by day the population is increasing okay and the these means these create it take a millions of years so we have to think here how to use these fossil fuels okay so now over the first topic first point that is coal and formation of coal that we will see now okay now next point we will discuss that is a coal see coal is a exhaustible natural resources okay so now we will see how coal is a form now commonly you know that it is the form by the decomposition of the dead plants and animals means all the fossil fuels okay but mostly the coal is a form by the decomposition of plants okay so before to start the formation of coal see here the coal coal is a fossil fuels okay and it is hard and black in color okay mostly you have seen coal okay how it is it is hard and black in color in india coal is mainly found in means in india where is coal is found see in bihar jharkhand odisha and madhya pradesh okay so in india this coal is found in bihar jharkhand odisha and madhya pradesh see uh, this information you have to write down in your chemistry notebook okay because uh, some information it is not given in your textbook so this is some the extra points that you have to write in your chemistry notebook okay so coal is a fossil fuel it is hard and black in color okay and it is found in odisha madhya pradesh bihar okay so now how the coal is a form see here it is formed by the gradual decay and compression of the remains of plants and trees in the absence of air means what it is the formation of coal means coal is a form by the decomposition of dead plants okay so whatever the plants when they died then see decay organic matter now that you know okay decay and the compression of the remains of plants and trees means see it takes a millions of years to form a coal okay so day by day it is increasing means daily whenever the plants day then it, the amount is increasing and because of that because of the higher pressure and temperature it decompose and this is a process in the absence of air because it is under the ground that process is going on where under the ground now see the slow chemical process and this is very slow chemical process okay and see of the conversion of dead vegetation now dead vegetation means plants and trees means dead plants and trees the slow chemical process and it is the conversion of dead vegetation into coal means this is the chemical process see coal means what carbon means mostly carbon is present and little amount of what hydrogen oxygen sulfur means very less am less amount it product but it contain a carbon means it is the purest form of carbon coal means the carbon after this lesson some carbon and carbon compounds in that some points we will discuss only okay so it is see it is a slow chemical process of the conversion of the dead vegetation into a coal okay now see under the influence of high pressure and temperature just now i told you okay how it form so it is a slow chemical change okay slow chemical process and the conversion of dead vegetation into coal but how it how it convert because of the high pressure and temperature is called as a 
carbonization okay so this process is known as a carbonization why because this dead plants it converted into coal coal means what it contain a lot of carbon means it is the carbon only coal means carbon carbon is one element that you know okay so these process means dead plants to convert into coal this whole the process is known as a carbonization see again see the slow chemical process the slow chemical process of the conversion of the dead vegetation into coal under the influence of high pressure and temperature is called as a carbonization so why this process is known as a carbonization because all the trees dead plants it converted into a coal by high pressure and temperature and coal means what it contain a carbon then see coal is a made up of carbon but along with it hydrogen oxygen and small amount of sulfur and nitrogen are also present see means the 90% 95% if you will say then also okay it contain a carbon but along with it oxygen hydrogen sulfur and nitrogen means very small amount of it is present when coal is a heated in air it burns and produce a carbon dioxide gas means when this coal is heated in the air so it start burning and when it burns it produce carbon dioxide gas okay so how the coal is formed coal is formed by the see conversion of the dead plants into coal okay means dead plants see fossil fuels formed by the dead plants and animals but mostly the coal coal is formed by the dead plants okay so this is some information about the coal this is the formation of coal why i written this on the board because it is important maybe the question will come for you in exam how the coal is a form and see this is some information i written here so these all the points you write in your chemistry notebook okay so coal is a fossil fuel it is hard and black in color in india coal is found in bihar jharkhand odisha and this is the process of formation of coal in the next period we will see the types of coal so that time we will discuss in a detail if you have any doubt regarding this point you can ask to me so now here we will stop thank you